Okay, um, this is a very, very important announcement. Meron na po akong na-research na pwede natin gamitin. I'm talking about all the victims at lahat-lahat na mga nasa YouTube na binalaan din ng Channel 5. Kung totoo man na Channel 5 ang uh, nagbigay sila ng babala na kailangan tanggalin na nila lahat. Kung ano yung mga na-post nila kung ano yung mga assumptions nila against Rafi Tulfo. Pero bago ko po basahin itong ginawa ko, I would like to uh, share also na kung ano yung uh, ginawa kong episode last night doon sa Euro TV, yung aking Real Talk with Mystica, andun po at na kalagay na po doon sa aking uh, Mystica channel po, okay? Mystica Celebrity uh, channel. So, pwede nyong puntahan doon, episode uh, episode 13 at ang uh, nakalagay doon kung ano yung mga kasagutan kung bakit pinagmumura ko yung mayabang na si Rafi Tulfo. Okay, nandun lahat. So, malalaman nyo na lang yan at isi-share-share ko din later on. Okay, ito yung pinakamaganda at saka it's a good news for everybody kasi natagpuan ko na kung ano yung specific na specific niya, pwede nating isampa against Rafi Tulfo. Okay, kaya ito yung nakalagay sa aking... Um, Facebook account, Ruby Villanueva. Okay, please share. Sinabi ko, Mystica's legal action against Rafi Tulfo. Ayan. Rules of Court in the Philippines Civil Procedure. Nandoon yung website para makita ninyo. And ito yung nakita ko. Uh, Rule 71, Contempt. Okay, Section 3, Indirect Contempt to be punished after, cha after charge and hearing. After a charge in writing has been filed and an opportunity given to the respondent to comment thereon within such period as may be fixed by the court and to be heard by himself or counsel. A person guilty of any of the following acts may be punished for indirect contempt. Okay, so, kung ano yung indirect contempt nandito mismo sa letter E, assuming to be an attorney or an, in, or an officer of a, of a court, and acting as such without authority and as we know he is acting as uh, as a lawyer and of course he's using his program as a court here okay so this is the case of mystica against rafi tulfo illegal practice of law ayon yung yung grounds natin okay so sa lahat ng mga victims yun ang mismong grounds natin an authorized practice of a law is indirect contempt. Ayun. Kaya nandun. Section uh, uh, Rule 71, Section 3 mismo. Indirect contempt. Okay. To engage in a practice of law is to perform acts which are usually performed by members of the legal profession. Okay. Generally, to practice law is to render any kind of service which requires the use of legal knowledge or skill. So, ang ginagawa niya ngayon, di ba? ginagawa na niya ngayon na siya no yung sumbungan which he doesn't even have any license para siya mismo yung sumbungan natin and of course dahil wala siyang legal knowledge or skill at wala naman talaga siyang uh, ano uh, wala naman talaga siyang uh, diploma or a certificate to prove that he is a legal counsel so yun mismo an authorized practice of law is indirect contempt okay so ngayon Rafi Tulfo was or is engaged in an authorized practice of law. Okay? The, the court ruled that practice of law means any activity in or out of court. Okay? So, ang practice of law, hindi lang inside the court, kundi outside of court as well. So, yun ang ginagawa niya outside of court. This is, he's using his radio program, ito yung uh, Rafi Tulfo in Action, as a place na ginaganap na niya kung ano yung ginaganap doon sa court mismo. Which requires the application of law, legal procedure, knowledge, training, and experience to engage in the practice of law is to perform acts which are usually performed by members of the legal profession. Okay, meron ba siyang legal profession? Dahil lahat na yung mga in-exercise niya doon is already a practice na talagang pinapractice na mga law years. Okay, but he is not. He is not an authorized lawyer. And he doesn't even have any qualification at all to be a legal counsel right here. 
generally to practice law is to render any kind of service which requires the use of legal knowledge or skill. Meron ba siyang legal knowledge or skill? Wala. Dahil nakikita nyo kung paano siya basta-basta na lang mag-judge, mag or whatever and then dahil din sa takot ng tao dahil sasabihin nila na oh kailangan matakot ka. Kaya katulad ngayon, every time may nagkamali, oh itutulfo kita. Oh, ibig sabihin na na nakuha na niyo yung mga isip ng mga tao na brainwash na niya na each time na may problema sila the only easiest way is to go to him oh tingnan mo yung ganun na klase na uh, panlilin lang sa mga tao okay so obviously with all the evidences being published throughout the world nakikita niyo nandiyan lahat sa uh, sa internet di ba hindi lang youtube throughout the world di ba internet Rafi Tolfo in action was able to establish the pattern in an unauthorized pra public uh, unauthorized practice of law ayon na mismo he is doing an unauthorized practice of law He's been executing a special role, ayan, a special role, na parang siya na mismo yung legal counselor, or power of an attorney, yan, he feels that he's got a power, okay, in his favor to allow himself to join the complainants and those people involved as one of the plaintiffs as their attorney in fact, oh, see? Lahat ng mga plaintiffs, lahat na ng mga kung sino-sino involved, lahat ng mga complainants, siya na mismo yung nandoon at nagro-roll mismo. And then, he would file the necessary complaint and offer pleadings acting for and in his own, in his own behalf as an authority in fact, agent or representative of the parties. So sinasabi niya na, oh, eto, dahil sa ginawa niyo, ako na mismo ang maglalagay sa inyo sa ano, sa korte, okay, ako na mismo ang mag aak as as the representative para dalhin kayo dito, ganung ganyan, 'di ba? Katulad ng ginawa sa akin, na kun dadalin ako kung saan ako dapat dalhin in order to assist me ganun. He was already executing the the job of a certain attorney right here or a legal counselor. Okay, acting on his behalf as an attorney, in fact, agent or representative of the party. So he's acting as the representative doon sa mga nagre-reklamo mismo. The fact that Rafi Tulvo has never indicated in his program that he was or he is a member of the bar or any PTR, attorney's role, or MCLE compliance number does not detract from the fact that by his actions, he was and he is actually engaged in the practice of law. So, hindi niya pwedeng sabihin na, bakit inannounce ko ba ako ay lawyer, inannounce ko ba na ako ay, uh, ano, ako ay uh, isang uh, a member of the bar or a, any PTR or attorney's role or MCLE compliance number. Hindi niya sinabi yun, pero it will not, this will not be a reason na hindi siya talaga qualified doon sa Uh, doon sa isusumbong natin o doon sa illegal practice of law. ba? Diba? Hindi niya pwedeng sabihin na bakit sinabi ko ako'y lawyer, eh bakit kayo pumunta? Hindi ko naman sinabi na ako'y nakapasa sa bar. Hindi ko naman sinabi na I'm a member of uh, this uh, attorney's role or whatever. Hindi yon ang magiging dahilan niya para tayo ay masisi kung bakit tayo na, na, nasa kanya. The fact that he's been there for how many years doing an illegal practice of law doon siya talaga maitatama okay under section uh, under section 3 ayan e okay yung letter ng e rule 71 of the 1997 rules of civil procedure a person assuming to be an attorney or an officer of a court ayan he is assuming that he is an attorney ano bang ginagawa niya he is assuming meaning siya yung naglalagay sa kanyang sarili na para bang para lang para bang mediator or he's already acting as a legal counsel so ano yung mediator as a legal counsel Oh, di ba? Kasi yung mga ipinipresent sa kanya ay legal problems, di ba? Hindi to problema ng kung ano, but it, this is with regards to legal problems already, legality, okay? Kaya hindi niya pwedeng sabihin na ay hindi naman ako gumagawa ng mga ganun ganon. No, he is doing an illegal practice of law right here, okay? So ang nakalagay dito. Uh, assuming to be an attorney or an officer of a court and acting as such without authority wala siyang authority hindi siya nabigyan ng authority para siya mismo yung magiging counselor or magiging mediator or magiging para bang assuming as an attorney okay 
Ayan, without authority is liable to indirect contempt of court under Section 7 of the same rules, a respondent adjudged guilty of indirect contempt committed against a regional trial court or a court of equivalent or higher rank may be punished by a fine not exceeding 30,000 uh, uh, pesos or imprisonment and exceeding six months or both. If a respondent is adjudged guilty of contempt committed against a lower court, he may be punished by a fine not exceeding 5,000 pesos or imprisonment not exceeding one month or both. Okay, doon sa mga maliliit lang na nag-commit ng ganong klase ng uh, uh, violation. Pero we are talking to a big person like uh, right here throughout the Philippines and now being advertised, being published throughout the world. So malaki, malaki ang pananagutan ng Rafi Tulfo na ito. Okay. So now, I am urging the Senate, okay, this is pangalawang urge ko na ito sa Senate, and sana naman, lahat ng mga makapanood nito, please, 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 ishare nyo ito hanggang sa makarating ito sa Senate, okay? I am urging the Senate to please review the ruling of the court and to recommend that Rafi Tulfo be cited for indirect contempt and be sentenced to serve an imprisonment and to pay a fine. Of course, he has to find the dabinias like yung mga katulad ko, like katulad ni Adora, like katulad ng teacher, or any, any other uh, na nagiging victim ng, ng uh, Rafi Tulfo in action na to, okay? To pay a fine and also considering the fact that the repetition of any of the offenses, many times, repetition, okay, many times, he's done it many times for how many years already, or any similar and other offense against the courts, judges or court employees will merit further and more serious sanctions, okay, so repetition na yung mga ginawa niya, so kailangan talagang mai-acknowledge talaga ng court eh, Yung fact na he has done it many times, okay? I am also urging the Senate to further recommend that a memorandum be issued to all courts of the land to notify the judges and count and court personnel. Kailangan talaga mismo ang Senate na mismo ang gumising sa korte mismo, okay? Sa korte mismo. Um, uh, further recommend that a memorandum be issued to all courts of the land to notify the judges and court uh personnels of Rafi Tulfo in actions unauthorized practice of law. Kailangan kung anong ginagawa na unauthorized practice of law ni Rafi Tulfo, especially ni sa uh, uh, program na Rafi Tulfo in action, kailangan na talagang idulog na itong kaso na to as soon as possible para ma-close down na itong programa na to. Okay, so now, with my legal complaints with specific legal grounds against Rafi Tulfo in action, I urge every victim to join my battle against Rafi Tulfo in order for him to be subjected to, ayan, to guilty of indirect contempt under Section 3E, Rule 71 of the 1997 Rules of Civil Procedures and impose on him a certain fine for moral and emotional damages as the cause and effect of his illegal actions. Okay, so hindi lang ito yung magiging, uh, magiging kaso para sa kanya, pero kung ano yung na cause and effect niya na dahil sa kanyang illegal actions, nagkaroon tayo talaga ng moral and of course, uh, uh, emotional, social damages. So kailang pagbayaran niya lahat kung ano itong mga ginawa niyang illegal actions against us. Okay? Yun ang pinaka-importante. Okay, by Mystica, the Advocates of Truth website, uh, www.mysticatempleofchrist.com Okay, eto. Eto yung mga verses na inilagay ko dito. For all, I, for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster. To give you a future and a hope. Okay. So, kailangan talagang i-emphasize ko na ginagawa ko ito in order not to be a disaster for everybody but in order for us to have a good future and a good hope okay and of course eto dahil sinasabi nila na na ako yung nagmumura well just like what i said nagmura din ang lord noon di ba sabi niya you fools you hypocrites you brood of vipers di ba pagmumura yon so eto ngayon yung na-emphasize ko talaga dito na um, 
When God speaks through His anointed, you will know. Because I'm claiming na ako yung pinagpakitaan ng truth sa langit sa pamamagitan ng panaginip ko. And according to the Bible, when I will choose a prophet, I am not claiming to be a prophet. I would rather be called a servant. And then I will show myself in visions and in dreams. Di ba sinabi niya yon. So now I am doing my job for Him. Okay. God does not choose as people choose you may be cast down but you will not be put to shame okay kahit ikaw ay ikakas down ng mga tao and you will be put to shame according to God he will choose that person okay according to his will and he has to make sure that that person will not to be casted down and will not be put to shame according to him. So, ito ngayon yung ginagawa ko. And yun, you will realize later on na, oh my God, now we know. Okay. In Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 1.27. Okay. But God chose the foolish things. Okay. Or the foolish things or a foolish person like me. The foolish things of the world to shame the wise. Well, he claims to be the wise. He claims to be the idol. He claims to be the, the person who's really big. Okay. God chose the weak things of the world to shame the strong so he has chosen he has chosen the foolish person in order to shame the wise and he has chosen the weak person in order to shame the strong so i am now considered as a weak person because wala akong pera diba once you have no pera wala kang power so meaning to shame the strong meaning you know, once you've got some money meaning you are already considered as a very powerful or a very strong person okay so, yun po yung sinasabi doon. So, King James Version naman, Exodus 23, 21. Beware of him and obey his voice. Provoke, provoke him not, for he will not pardon your transgressions, for my name is in it. Ayan. So, lahat ng mga kumakastigo sa akin, lahat ng pinagsabihan ko na ito ginagawa ko para sa kanya, kasi andito yung bilin mismo sa akin ng Lord, and it's been emphasized already in my website. So, kung sino hindi naniniwala, kung hindi yung hindi sumusunod, then nasa kanya na ang pag, ano, later on, pagbibigay ng parusa doon sa mga taong kumakastigo sa akin mismo. 1 Thessalonians 4 8. So, he who rejects this is not rejecting men but the God who gives His Holy Spirit to you. So, kahit anong sinasabi ko, yung mga nagre-reject, they are not rejecting me but they are rejecting kung ano yung sinasabi ng Lord na siya mismo ang ibinigay sa akin at gamitin ako in order to speak for you guys because what I'm saying right now, what I have been trying to express to you as many times as I could are His words. Amen.